indeed a, a big pleasure for me to be here today uh, to officiate at the opening of the Bambali Bures. Uh, this is an eco-tourism project uh, that will lead to generations of income for the youth of Silana village here in Dawasama. This project, ladies and gentlemen, will provide an avenue for the youth of Silana to earn a livelihood for themselves and improve the standard of living of their families and the village of Silana. I acknowledge, ladies and gentlemen, the hard work that you have all put into this project to accomplish what we see before us today. One of the key mandates of the ministry, ladies and gentlemen, is to formulate and implement policies and strategies to, strategies to facilitate the growth of the micro and small and medium enterprises. And you know, as you all know, you must have heard us saying this over and over again, that with a contribution of around 20% to our gross domestic product, this MSME sector is an essential component of the Fijian economy. The sector is therefore an important contributor to employment and employment creation and income generation and poverty alleviation. We have a five year and a 20 year development plan which sets the foundation for an inclusive Fiji where all Fijians are given an equal opportunity to earn a better livelihood. <coughs> the government recognizes the MSMEs as the backbone of a strong and resilient economy. In this regard, the government, Fijian government has put into place a number of initiatives that are targeted towards the enhancement of this particular MSME sector. And one of them is the IHRDP program of my ministry. The, the program actually funds community-based projects that allows for communities to pool together its resources and expertise for projects that will generate income and decent work. Over the years, ladies and gentlemen, the IHRDP has successfully implemented around the country over 28 projects, especially in the Central Division, and has improved the livelihoods of around about 560 odd people. And this is just the Central Division. They've been able to earn over a quarter of a million dollars to actively contribute towards the economy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in 2016, the IHRDP Bought, was bought under the ambit of the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism, and this was done to consolidate all of the Fijian government's uh, projects relating to MSMEs. And all MSME-related initi initiatives are interrelated and work towards the aim of growing the contribution of the MSME sector towards the growth of our economy. For example, projects under the IHRDP, such as the Lawaki Bakery, that you would have heard, heard about, and the Cordonivia Vegetable Farmers have been formed into a cooperative. And this has enabled the community-based projects to graduate from the form, uh, informal to the formal sector. From what I understand, the total uh, project cost of the Sedana Youth Project was about $144,399. The Fijian government, through the IHR, IHRDB, contributed $53,771. And the community contributed $90,627 in, in cash and uh, equity in the construction of these particular bureaus. One unique aspect, ladies and gentlemen, of this project is that while it belongs to the people of Silana, the bure is operated and managed by the youth in the community, where you have 20 or more odd youth that have acquired lifelong skills of constructing bures and also the knowledge of setting up and managing a business. With the skills and the knowledge that has been acquired by the youth, they have an opportunity to graduate into job creation. The young entrepreneurship scheme that we have under the ministry provides an avenue for also for young Fijians to access funding for innovative and unique projects. And the youth in this community are also at liberty to apply, just like everybody else in Fiji, for funding uh, for any particular initiative that they take. Therefore, the Silana Youth Ecotourism Project 
is a great example of how a group can actually work together for the betterment of the community at large. And yes, the youth play a, cru a crucial role uh, in ensuring that growth is sustainable. In encouraging, uh, it, it is also encouraging to note that the four buries are currently uh, occupied by Global Vision International, GVI, and for a period of three years. And this ins ensures a steady income of around $3,333 per month. The income is used for the development of the village, I understand, and education of the children, although we have free education. And savings are kept at the unit trust of Fiji. After three years, the Burus will, be will become tourist accommodation. And these types of projects, ladies and gentlemen, which uh, focuses on sustainable development, complement the Fijian government's work towards achieving our $2.2 billion Fijian tourism industry. Ladies and gentlemen, the government, Fijian government believes that the best and most effective way to economically empower the rural youth is to identify what they do best and provide them with the necessary support to actually achieve that vision. I'd like to remind the Silano community at large that the Fijian government's contribution towards the construction of these bures is actually a leg up. And hence, you need to take full ownership of the business and ensure that it flourishes and it grows. You also need to ensure that you look after the buris and maintain, maintain them. And I encourage you all to work hard with pride and continue to press on into the future so you can look after the future generations. At this juncture also, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to acknowledge the support received from other government agencies and the private sector partners who are present here today and have worked with the IHRDP through the Integrated Rural Development Framework to make things happen here in Solana. Now, I'd also, at this time, ladies and gentlemen, also like to thank all the stakeholders for your continued support and for making this dream come true for the people of Solana. So with those few words, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to officially declare the Bambalimburis, a Silana Youth Ecotourism Project. Okay. And I will you very much.